Hello, citizens. I hope you're faring well in these difficult times. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Uh, Welcome to part three of the Let's Play series. There we go. Uh, yeah. So we're going to jump right back into it. But before we do that, I noticed we got even more messages. Oh my god. Yeah. Beautiful. It was wonderful. We got Zero the Hero. I thought, ooh. I thought, <laughs> I thought, ooh. Minecraft's more fierce than the new. <laughs> there you go. I Thank knew you had it Zero in the you. Hero. Lonnie JR26. Love the content you guys create. Keep it up with good work. Thank you. Lonnie, thank you. Clavtron. Hope you guys keep doing the Oblivion Let's Play. It's very entertaining. We intend to, Clavtron. Thank you again. Icy dead people. By the nine divines! Assault! Assault! <laughs> 7v2. Stop right there, criminal scum! <laughs> you violated my mother. I hope not. Yeah, yikes. Lonnie JR again. Come on, another. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate These it. These are great. It's nice seeing some messages when I log on every time. Alright, so last time we finally managed to close the gate. Uh, the first Oblivion Gate of Kavach. And then we got Brother Martin. And brought Brother him Martin. To, Brother Martin. Brought him to Wayne and Priory, went to Cl Cloud Ruler Temple, and met up with uh, Boris, where he um, passed away in the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Boris. R.I.P. Boris. Fought well and hard against those mud crabs in the sewers. Yeah. Many mud crabs and rats. Oh, yeah. He did a good job. And then we retrieved the Mysterium Xarxes from uh, the Argonian who was fleeing. Mm-hmm. I forget his name. Did you leave him in there to flee? I forget what you decided yeah, to do. Yeah, he stays. You never Good. see him again. Like once I said, it's his life. Once you leave that cave, he's gone forever. Okay. <laughs> I think, at least. Someone will probably correct me if I'm wrong. You'll probably find his head just like Geob's head. Geob, yeah. another. <laughs> in uh, Elder Scrolls Six, you'll find Julius's head <laughs> in... <laughs> okay. We go Mac level one day six hundred ninety eight. If someone pointed that out last time in the comments, did you read that? What somebody did what? Someone just as a comment they put level one day six hundred ninety eight <laughs> 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 because of the uh, the prison sentence. <laughs> I'll have to replay a bit of this cave because I uh, I died last time. We read all the comments by the way, and we love all of them. Yeah. <laughs> there was a naked uh, cult guy that shocked me. And I died. I gotta redo one. I remember that. Everyone yeah. was piling on you. <laughs> you really jinxed it because you said I'm I'm not dead yet. Yeah. And then yeah. They... What's that? Nice fireball there. <laughs> <laughs> this game really would be a completely different game without that imperial voice. It dominates the whole soundscape. <laughs> it's ubiquitous. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Gotta get the book. Let's let Julius die. Yeah, can this thing get knocked over yet? Here he is. <laughs> That's fine, you know. I think I overstated his case. Julius can die. Uh. <laughs> An unmoving Julius blood splatters uh, yeah. across the... <laughs> uh, as like half the blood, blood leaves my body. Oh, God. It's a very unthreatening voice. Yeah, very casual. <laughs> Who's that? I feel like we talk about the voices in this more than anything. I'm sure we do. <laughs> they're, they're an integral part of the whole experience. Yeah, they're... Just... Aha, I mean, oh, yeah, God. listen to that. <laughs> Don't hurt me! <laughs> oh, man. Run away! Oh, it's so unforgettable. Really, truly. How do we get out of here? Everything looks the same. This is like a variation on the other room we were just in. 
That's dungeons for you. Yeah. Hello. I do not fear death. <laughs> well, that's convenient for you. <laughs> It only recorded like two distinct voice lines for this Lord section of the game. The Lord Dagon, and you, and you cannot escape the master's vigilance. Can't escape vigilance. the master's vigilance. <laughs> Maybe that's what they. It's like a religious, you know, greeting, like as they as they depart from church. Yeah, I guess so. You know, see you next time. You can't escape the master's vigilance. Like they remind themselves. Warning of that. each other. Yeah. Yeah, they're under constant threat. <laughs> Finally, out of the Lake Arius Caverns. Finally. Arius, whatever. The Lake Arian Caverns. One thing I remember distinctly, just a feeling, is when you come out of a desolate cavern like this that you've been in for an hour, and you're greeted by the beautiful music in the trees, it's such a nice feeling. <laughs> it's refreshing. Yeah. It's like you've been underwater for a long time, and you come take that first breath yeah. of air. Really, the atmosphere in this is very well put together. I've, I've, I've felt more like I'm really outside in this game than lots of games I've played. Mm. When you're just wandering around. Yeah, it's a very imminent sense of space yeah. around you and potential to explore. There's great sound design with all the, the birds and the the footsteps and everything, and the wind. Yeah, you hear you hear like wind and, and birds yeah. as the music changes and you're exiting the cave. Yeah. It's like just enough. Yeah. Thank Talos you've returned safely. Do you have the amulet? Of what? Of gay. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you have some good news. God, he hates me. Ah, good. You should take that to Martin right away. He'll be in the Great Hall reading. He's hardly taken time to sleep since you left. I love that this army of trained blades and they send you alone to retrieve the amulet of kings. This is some prisoner. He's too busy enjoying, enjoying the ancient halls. <laughs> yeah, really. It lifts his spirits. It is. Too busy fondling the Amulet of Kings. <laughs> this is a really nice building. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, it's this a, uh, Cloud Ruler Temple. It's like a Nordic Mead Hall, right? Yeah, exactly. Because it's got that long construction. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're back. I told Joffrey not to worry. I can see you've had bad news. You didn't recover the amulet, did you? By the nine, such... <laughs> Forgive me. You were right to bring it. I don't know. Maybe. But I will need time. Tampering with dark secrets. In the meantime, you should speak to Joffrey. It's a very orange face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I do love it. It's, it's so noble and warm feeling. <laughs> the kind of place you want to duck into yeah. after a snowstorm. Exactly. Yeah. So for the rest, most of the game, I believe, he's uh, just... Translating the Mysterium Xerxes in that table. Good evening, sir. Someone just uh, grabbed a drink. That noise is very distinct. Good work tracking down that clinking noise. Yeah, that crying. That high pitched. Finally took the fight to the enemy. I hope Martin knows what he's doing with that evil. <laughs> Can you make a gulp sound as he was talking? What it could do to him if he's not careful. We finally took the fight to the enemy. What can I do for you, sir? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh. see them near the rune stone at dot. All right. Oh yeah, you got to uh, track down some the rune stone. This is Gauntlet Legends now. Yes. You track down some of Mayrune's Dagon's spies. <clears throat> oh, this should be good. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was the threat, huh? All that waiting for that. Oh man, incredibly threatening. It's a pleasure to see you. It's a nice change. That's yeah. <laughs> Shoot, we've come a long way since that bounty was yeah. p had people sneering at us. Very sad. Oh boy, very threatening sight. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Threatening? Speak. <laughs> Captain Bird, commander of the Bruma Guard. 
Captain Except Bird. For Juro, yeah. Coming back from a trip down south, things are pretty quiet. Not much travel right now. With I've told my men to keep a sharp eye out. What about you? That shadow in the back looks like a fist that's wagging. Someone's ah. angry. <laughs> God's blood. Since you're working with Cloud Ruler Temple. Curse you, bird. Go ahead. <laughs> you know. Oh. Whoa. Go ahead talking. What is it? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Always so much spirit. It's so jolly. Yeah. I would love to walk in. Yeah. That's where I go to work. Everyone. How is it? How are you? <laughs> How goes it? What is it? It always either starts high and gets low, or starts low and goes it's high. It's very musical. Yeah. Weird thing to say. Alright. I guess I should read that document. The master was pleased to hear of your activities outside of Corval. Coral. <laughs> the master is pleased to hear of your activities outside of Coral. The more gates that we open, the nearer we are to the glorious cleansing. The master has chosen you and Severi for a most crucial mission. A sign of your advancement through the ranks of the Chosen. We have learned that the Septum Air has gone to ground at Cloud Ruler Temple. The lair of the accursed blades. The master has made its destruction the top priority of the Order. And Lord Dagon has committed whatever resources are required. Ending your report on the Septum's activities at Cloud Ruler Temple, and your assessment of the temple defenses and possible routes of we escape. We plan to open a great gate in the open ground before Bruma as soon as possible. Remember. The first three lesser gates represent only the preliminary stages of the Great Gate deployment. The fall of Bruma is assured. Cloud Ruler Temple cannot stand long after that. And the Septum will be caught like a rat in a trap. We would welcome any further details you can offer concerning the Imperial agent who rescued Martin from Kvach. But again, we caution you. Do not risk a confrontation. This individual is not to be trifled with. The, the dawn, dawn is, is breaking. breaking. Ruma Kamoron. So There's... tell him the gist of that letter, of what we just read. I didn't read much of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking for the name Severi. Oh, man. And there, he, he mentioned how they were planning to open the, the large gate and take over Bruma. And they knew that Martin was in Cloud Ruler Temple. Hello! And that's, that's, I assume, why they want to attack Bruma. Right. Identify yourself. General's house, there's something in here. Should I? Oh! You cannot escape the map. Alright. Yeah, his sleeve is through his book. I've deciphered part of the ritual needed to open a portal to Cameron's paradise. Xarxes mentions four items needed for the ritual, but so far I have only deciphered one of them the blood of a Daedra lord. In fact, Daedric artifacts are known to be formed from the essence of a Daedric Lord, from whence they derive their great power. Alright. Yeah, you have to, y'all have to get the, uh, Azura Star. Hmm. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura, by Azura. Modern heretics. Remember the mis- This quest always freaks me out, because it happens kind of early in the quest line, if you take the main quest line head on. Good evening, sir. And it puts you in combat with vampires, and it's always not fun. They're tough? Well, they're not necessarily tough, but if they touch you, you have a chance of contracting the vampire disease. You can't just take a potion of cure disease for that? You can, but they're hard to find earlier on. And it's just a, it's a weird feeling in combat to try and, like, not get touched by them. <laughs> 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 just, like, sort of flinging yeah. your sword at a distance. That's pretty much what I do. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, they have... Porphic, porphyric hemophilia, or whatever it is. Yeah, that's the one. Is, uh, porphyric yeah. hemophilia. And then, uh, it sucks in this game. There's the some... werewolf disease is lycanthropy, right? Yeah, yeah. But that's are... all through the literature. I mean, I mean, outside of the Elder Scrolls world, yeah. ly lycanthropy is like the technical term for the well werewolf really? disease. Yeah. I wonder where those terms came I'm from. I'm not sure. Probably Greek origin or something. I think they came from the Mysterium Xerxes. Yeah, they came from the Mysterium Xerxes. Which brother Xerxes. Martin is? is <laughs> <laughs> Which brother Martin is translating it at yes. the moment? Oh, look, there's an oblivion gate up there. 
Come on. Come on, horse, to the oblivion gate. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we got some good. Look at that! Did you see the momentum you had there? Flying horse. <laughs> Whoa! The sun is setting. The sun is turning into the oblivion gate. The dawn is breaking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so quick to run away. That's me. It was get a trail of dumb little animals following you around here. These a guys trail of dumb them. little animals. There we go. Straight out of a Disney movie. Yep. Oh no, puppy! There should be there. There's a glow dust. Like there we go. Yeah, this one's really set up for you. Yeah. Okay. Where to go? Hardly felt like God a damn. challenge. <laughs> Did, can you not Shit. collect it? I think it slid. Are you of... serious? The one that's set up for you, you can't even get? Well, this whole thing's on a slant. I think it... I've ha I once had to chase it. There's uh, the uh, <laughs> the temple of the ancestor moths over there, and I once had to like chase the glow dust all the way over there. The, the will-o'-the-wisp, whatever they're called. The will there it is! Ah! It's pretty hidden. Yeah. And the, the physics are so slidey. <laughs> Is it dawn or dusk, right? What? Oh no! Why I gotta level you... up! I can't be level one anymore. Here, uh... Well, why would you want to be level one anymore? I wanted to be level one day 2000. <laughs> it feels like you're gonna be... <laughs> This is the, Mac is destined for that. This Mac is destined. This is our third Let's Play. He's level one. We played hours of this game. I never want to go to sleep. <laughs> I'll run through the arena real fast. <laughs> I forgot his name is Mac. That's so and his sword's like, name is Mac. He de that devalues <laughs> this whole thing. His face devalues the his whole face, thing. everything about it. There he is. Look, there's Mac. Mac, the great, the champion. Cham the gods, grand champion, Hero Kavach. The god's agent. Head of the Thieves Guild. And... <laughs> Alright. We gotta wait more, because it's nighttime now. And the arena's closed. By the gods, what do you want? Everyone's mean. <laughs> I'm a busy man. What is no, you're not. There's I'm an orange enemies man. nearby. Seriously? How's, oh, there's gotta be some Mayroon's Dagon cult people. They seem to be everywhere. Yeah. They sometimes randomly invade you when you're in the city. Are you gonna wait again? Yeah. That was weird though, I guess it was just a glitch. So there are enemies nearby. Oh. There she is. That was probably them. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go. I think back. we found the source of that. <laughs> he's already so tired. His face. He's already so tired of everything you've done to him. That's the face of 600 days in jail. <laughs> you know what He'll definitely. Like when he oh, dies. Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Enemies are nearby. There's something about this room. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, he still wants to fight me from earlier. Because this is where I first started my crime no. spree. Yeah, no, I remember that, but I thought that since you paid... Since you went to jail, it cleared you. But this particular one? Yeah, just... Come on. Stay away. Hundelin rejects your yield. Please. How about the... This ends here. Bizarre. Has Only... this happened to you before? Yeah, from time to time. Not this, not this exact character, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm watching it. Your block is gonna go up. Hundlin, please, that's true. Then die, my level will go up after that. Die. No, no one wants to intervene. Their block skill increased. This is good. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sounded more like a death cry than a battle like cry. One, one swing warranted all that. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. Please. 
Christ. You're I don't know trying to, to heal yourself now, probably. Yeah, I probably should. Can I still talk to this man? You know what brawler oh. rank is worth? <laughs> you know what brawler rank is worth? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Alright, so I gotta wait till 9. Just blocking this guy for an hour. And Oh, Get Jesus. Him. Holy crap. <laughs> now he's fleeing. No! <laughs> Mac is a cursed file. Yeah, this is a uh, not the file <laughs> we expected to play. <laughs> Some blood over here. Oh, Boris the pig. He's not getting some Boris. What's his name? <laughs> Boris, Boris the pig. pig. <laughs> <laughs> You're so turned around. Is, uh... Oh, is this Boris? <laughs> pork chop the boar. I'm pretty sure. Oh, is this Boris yeah. the pig? <laughs> <laughs> his name is Boris the pig. I mean, it's an arena for fighting, even though you're not supposed to fight in this yeah. part. I wonder what's gonna happen. I wonder if he's gonna pursue me into the arena. Probably not. But we'll see. I've fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. <sighs> <clears throat> Protect me. Protect me. Please, Agronak. Oh, he's fleeing. Come on, you're supposed to be the best fighter. Agronak of all. is like, yeah. Agronak's little. What's the matter, you? <laughs> There's a book. I don't know if I read the book in here, but it's still away. <laughs> the Ransom of Zarek. That gets you something. I think I read it in the Old Man file, R.I.P. Alright, Old Man. An incredible file. There we go. Incredible file. <laughs> Went to close an Oblivion Gate in his Capris. Yeah. He I mean, Christ, that's, you know. Died fighting a, fighting a, a scamp. Amen. There's Boris the pig, Boris I can hear pigs. him. This is really weird. Thank you. And you can't kill this guy, he's the, uh, he runs all the bets for the arena. So he's like a necessary character. So he can hit your shield as much as he yeah. wants. Yeah. <laughs> little asshole. He is a piece of crap. <laughs> Cowering in fear, Jesus, the grand so pathetic. <laughs> That's wonderful. Stay away! She just sliced her in half. Right, yeah, right. It went <laughs> right through her. Real clean cut. I'm more concerned with how badly you can screw up this game than the actual lore in the world. Perry and strike. <laughs> The face of a persistent hero. The face of a 410 manlet <laughs> constantly bashing your shield. <laughs> it was his sole purpose. Oh! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I take it back, <laughs> six foot eight. Holy shit. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is wonderful. I've never seen this. Stay away. <laughs> oh. oh, there you go. No, <laughs> you, you reveal your. Tr <laughs> that was incredible. That was beautiful. That was just the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> right on cue, when I challenged his height, he just rose. <laughs> there he goes again. Oh, no! What say you about how tall I am, Imperial? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Stay away. All right. Ten seconds. Hey, there we go. Nine, eight, seven. One second. <laughs> no, come back. You know what, Brawler? Okay, Brawler, you know the... Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what happens. We've earned this. We have earned this five times <laughs> over. Let's see how Here far he goes. Oh man. Man, I want him to incorporate himself into this. I, I hope. Want... Yeah. No. Nope, oh, yeah. that's stops at the door. This is like a separate event, so yeah. I think it cancels everything. Yeah, and that's why yeah. I would have been so impressed if he yeah. came through. Welcome. Ooh, it's raining. It's so nice. It's so appropriate for the arena. Yeah. A battle of the brawlers. You know he does real announcing for I think hockey now. 
Really? Wes Johnson. Yeah. That's so Think cool. of going to a hockey game in the. I would love to go to a hockey game. To the arena. <laughs> God, be just invigorating. Move. Parry and strike. Move. <laughs> What I think most people do is just run all the arena quests um, just back to back to get your level up. Because it's really not um, overly difficult. And you can do a quest with the uh, that orc grand champion. Agron Agronac? Agronac, yeah. yeah. You can uh, wait for him to finish. Show a little respect. Uh, let's find out. You can essentially reveal to him that he's part vampire, and he's like really ashamed by that. Mm. And so when you when you go to fight him, he's just like, "Just please kill me." And he Damn. doesn't fight back. It's really Watch sad. Watch out. Yeah. That is awesome. honestly tragic. Folks, being a part vampire is nothing to be ashamed yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. Don't sacrifice yourself in the arena over it. It's a little dramatic. Hashtag fangs are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the thing acceptance movement on Tumblr has been getting a lot of traction recently. They picked the most unthreatening colors, yellow and blue. Yeah, yellow and blue. Like red and blue or red and something. The purple and the <laughs> periwinkle team. This is the As you can see, the combat is dynamic and every fight is different than the last. <laughs> They switch it up just to keep you yeah. interested. <laughs> as morbid as it sounds, watching like a Colosseum type game like this, where there's the the stakes are as high as they can be, where people are actually fighting for their lives, would be like really thrilling. Yeah, you know, it'd be right. like, whoa, like this is a real, you know, yeah. sport. Like, holy crap. Absolutely tragic every single time. <laughs> that one was particularly bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of confused about where I yeah, am. Yeah, <laughs> I felt really bad. Let her get a few hits in, you know? Come on. Boris the pig. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the final combatant yeah. in the arena, right? He uh, actually, honestly, he fights alongside you in the last fight. <laughs> I think it'd be funny if he was the last, <laughs> you know, he's pretty the good. final boss of the Honestly, arena. Honestly, every time I've done the arena quest line, he's survived the fight and killed Hell at least yeah. one of the combatants. Boris the Pig. <laughs> Boris I forget his actual name because of that. Uh, pork Chop the Boar. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Boris the Pig. Stronger than Boris the Blade. Good work, blood. All right. Okay, good now I'll go to bed. Please. All right, going to bed. I think that's a good place to stop for now. For going to bed. Hey, level two. Level two, perfect. Mac level two. Mac day level seven hundred, whatever. We've <laughs> <laughs> the third installment. We've made a little bit of progress. Yeah. Isn't this promising? I like to up my strength and speed. Never intelligence or personality or anything like that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you oh! sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. It's about time. You lose him a chance. Did it knock him unconscious? Never tried. You set him on fire so you can remember where he was. Right, yeah. We need Boris the pig now more than ever. Actually, I don't mind that. I wasn't probably going to do the uh, Dark Brotherhood quest. You didn't want to do that? Well, I don't know. I guess I won't save it. We'll see. Yeah. I, was, I, I didn't know you could actually kill him, though. I assumed he would have gone unconscious. That's funny. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we before yeah. we were interrupted by Lucian? <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank all you guys um, for subscribing and commenting and just interacting with these. This has been a lot of fun for me and Emmett. Um, I especially wanted to thank all our patrons. We have like eight or nine patrons now, which is incredible. 
Um, thank you guys all so much. Seriously, yeah. I, like any little bit helps. Um, we want to, you know, eventually like sort of up the, the equipment here and like get better cameras and, and just like a better production overall for everyone. Uh, special thanks to David Torrance, Amanda Chavez, Rolf Jensen, and Ian Collins uh, for hitting that, that $5 tier. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for everything. Um, we will be back with another installment next week as promised. And uh, thanks. Thank you a million times. I'm getting out of here. Take care. <laughs>